Hi, I'm Noah Frank, and today we're going to go back in time, and I'm going to get you to come with me on a journey. This is the journey. The Precambrian period was the beginning of life, starting with 4.5 billion years ago and ending at 540 million years ago. It's the longest era and took up 80% of the geologic record. Sedimentary rock shows a lot of climate changes, changings during this period. And after 700 million years of an average temperature of 200 degrees Fahrenheit, the first bacteria formed. They gathered, they gathered their food using chemical reactions. Eventually, the first cyanobacteria formed using photosynthesis and releasing oxygen. This made life in the water possible for every living organism. I said that it was 200 degrees Fahrenheit, so you might want to bring sunscreen. So now let's move on to the later life of the Precambrian period. This is where sponges and annelids are seen. The jellyfish are sponges, the early sponges, and the annelids are some of the some of those floating plants in the water. These also made the oxygen levels rise greatly. Then, after a couple million years, the next period happened. With a start time of 542 million years ago and an end time of 250 million years, the Paleozoic era means ancient life. It started off with the Cambrian period, and this is where you find the well-known trilobites. These animals later became extinct. The Ordovian period included snails, clams, and plants that grew with no danger in the water. Eventually, plants came out on land, as seen in the picture. Then, we have the Cerulean period, where mollusks and some fungi eventually became the first to evolve. Plants did use spores before that, but the fungi were the first ones that used it and ha also had decomposition purposes. Then came the Devonian period. This is where you see a lot of archaic Acroperturus and many poly polymyosperms, which means many a lot of they obviously use seeds. After that, there was the Carboniferous period, which is little known about that. Then came the Permian period, Permian period, where many big lizard-like animals, like reptiles, cranioids, and brachiopods, survived the Permian extinction, which knocked out ninety percent of all animals. Then a supercontinent formed, and it broke up after a little, little mill, a couple million years. The first vertebrate animals that came to land, ferns and trees, spread all across the land. This is more like the modern Earth we see today, except for the geologic formations. The last animal you saw was the first land vertebrate ever. This animal used its flippers to walk, which eventually evolved into feet and became a crocodile as you can see it from its body shape. It was the first animal to also lay leg eggs on land. This was a crucial step. If you, would, if you like to see animals in their natural habitat and more like Earth, come to this period. The all, average temperature was also a lot like Earth and oxygen levels were rising steadily. This is the Permian extinction. This is where 90% of all life died out, as I mentioned before. The only animals to survive were a few small mammals like rats and a couple big, bigger reptiles like brachiopods survived as shown in the picture. That's what they looked, that's what they looked like. Insects were the least to survive and 96% of their population died out. This was the biggest extinction ever recorded and a lot of the fossil record was lost during this period. Carbon dioxide levels rise and this is why they all died. This is where you're going to see your favorite animal, the dinosaurs. So if you have children, bring them along with you. This is the Mesozoic Era. Starting with the Triassic period, about 250 million years ago at a start time, and 65 million years with an end time, lizards and many reptiles ruled the Earth. In the Triassic period, only animals to survive the extinction were alive, but then many animals came later. In the Jurassic period, your dinosaurs came, your Brachiosauruses, your apex predator, the T-Rex, your Velociraptors. And then your Cretaceous period came along, where you see Parasaurus flying through the air. 
and this is the first flight ever. This was the breakup of the supercontinent known as Pangaea. You can see India has not collided with Asia yet. This will happen later. During the Triassic period, it was about 251 to 299 million years, and life outside the oceans began to diversify. Very hot summers and cold winters makes it about Earth's temperature. This is the best time to visit. Permian extinction had wiped out a lot of animals, but then the first mammals ever, ever recorded became alive. Then the Jurassic period happened. The breakup of Pangaea caused a subtropical climate field. The biggest dinosaur, the Brachiosaurus, existed 52 feet tall and 85 feet long. The earliest no the Cretaceous period began 145.5 million years ago and ended 65.5 million years ago because of the Cretaceous Paleogene KPG extinction. Much higher ocean levels and the climate became more varied from continent to continent. Pollination became more diverse and insects became more diverse also. Plant this is the first time plants use pollination. The Tyrannosaurus Rex was still the apex predator even towards the end of the Cretaceous period. This animal right here survived the KPG extinction. This animal evolved in the lemurs and monkeys that evolved in us. This is our ancestor. This is what we have to thank. This is the Cenozoic era. It began 65 million years ago and is still going on right now. The Terrietary period is 65 million years ago to 2 million years ago. It was the majority of the era. The first horses, camels, rhinos, elephants, and any other four-footed animal you can think of probably evolved from this period. Geographic changes occurred too, like the collision of India into, the, into uh, Asia. It cools down gradually until the Ice Age, and palm trees and, and many not new diverse plants grew in the land. The Ice Age in the Quaternary period, which began 2 million years ago, was very cold and it consisted of extreme climate change. Woolly mammoths had to adapt to grow fur from elephant to be able to survive this cold period. The first ever humans also had to evolve to be able to survive. They built fires. 1.5 million years ago, the first Homo erectus came into existence. Now, us Homo sapiens remain the only ones. Large carnivorous animals like saber-toothed tigers roamed this land seen in the picture. They were our predators. The main event is the Ice Age and us, the, the growth of us. This is where we come from. We are part of this period and this is our history. This is my research. Then we have the Cenozoic, all that. On the back, we have the Mesozoic, all the facts. Right here, we have climate, all that. There's my research.